Thanks again for joining me, everyone. Again, my name is CJ, and we're going to pick up right where we left off with step six, which is for the contact form. There's three different parts to this form. Here's um, part one, here's part two, and if you go down here, you'll see at the autoresponder, you'll see part three. But let's go through the whole thing. The first area is, I'll say contact title, which currently says contact us. I'll leave that as it is. The second part is the context box where you will put your address, phone number, whatever information you'd like. You also have an area to put your email address. The second portion of this page is for, wh for whoever is trying to reach you to put in their information. So you'll list here the titles of information that you want to receive. So name, email address, phone number, and the comments this is what someone else would be filling out so all you're doing here is just putting the titles in if you don't want to have this available then all you have to do is click no otherwise leave it on yes from there you can also activate the autoresponder on the bottom right hand portion of the page by clicking that it automatically opens up the third portion on this page which says autoresponder enabled once you click yes there you see autoresponder subject line and this is what will appear in the email um, subject line that is sent back to them and over here it says the actual email message so you can go ahead and put what you want the subject to say and what you want your email to say if you don't want to activate that option then just click no but we'll leave it on yes for now another portion on this page that's absolutely awesome is the ability to add a map. If you click the map button on the top of the page it will bring you to this screen. From here you can put the name of your company, the address, where it's located, the city, the zip code, and again your phone number. If your map is enabled you can hit save and preview and it will actually bring up a map of where your company is located already just built into your website so once you're satisfied there you can go ahead and close out of there now on to step seven which is where you're going to edit up your pop-up pages um, if you want a pop-up page you can have a maximum of four you can put in any title you want you can put the contents of what you want you can add images over here. You can also record a video live or upload a video. For the purpose of doing this demonstration, we're just going to leave it at zero. The eighth step is the image gallery. Now, for here, you can have a maximum of 10 galleries. I'm just going to say one. Each gallery can have a maximum of 50 images, but we're just going to select two images to keep it simple. Now you can name your gallery over here under gallery title. You can then click on the picture and you can choose from a list of different categories. We're going to go with business and we'll wait till they come up and we're just going to click on one of these images and as you can see whatever image you select here automatically populates here. If you would like to choose from your own personal images, then you select my image and then you can upload whatever image you want. If you do upload an image, then you have to refresh it. And we'll close out there. I'll leave this, the second image as it is. And we're done with that section. We can go ahead and close it out. The last section is to select the type of music you'd like to have. There, again, there's a wide range of choices. We'll stick with business. It gives you a little sample of each song or you can go down here and choose no music but let's go ahead and stick with the selection that we chose. If you want to upload your own music you also have the option of clicking my music and uploading it and then refreshing it. Since we're satisfied, we can go ahead and close out there. And basically just sit back and watch the preview of the website that you just built. It goes through everything that we just did. You can skip the intro. 
and it'll take you directly to the website. Here you'll see on the right hand side all the categories of the main pages that we have. Here is the home page intro that we put in and if you remember under Teams we added a sub page that said affiliates which is here and if you click on it you should see A to Z trucking which is right there. So with that being said you can save it you can preview it and once you're ready to publish it you go ahead and um, pay for pay for the website. Now let's go back and take a look quickly at um, some of the prices. On the main page you'll see that there are several different options depending on the website that you need but all of the packages include domain registration, web hosting, using the online website builder and site maintenance for an entire year. If you're building a simple website, you would want to go with the light. If you're using something more complex, maybe a premium. If you're doing any kind of store where you're going to need more space to have um, pictures and so forth, then you're going to want to go with either the premium plus, premium store, or the premium store plus. But all the prices um, are charged per month times 12 plus a $30 setup fee. So still very affordable versus paying someone thousands to create a website for you and then having to pay them every time you need to maintain or upgrade something. As far as maintaining the site, once you sign up for the services, you will select a username and password, and that's how you'll get in to make any modifications that you need. As far as contacting me, you can click the contact form. It's very simple. You fill out the information and I'll get back to you. If there's any um, questions that you have, you might want to take a look at the FAQs. It will answer some of the commonly asked questions. But that is basically it. So if there's any questions or concerns, any more tutorials that um, someone would like to see, just reach out to me and I will put it up. But 123 website is, again, just one of the easiest tools to create a professional looking website in just minutes. So, hope that was helpful and if there's anything you need, be in touch.